Hi everybody and welcome. This is Lisa and in this video I'm going to discuss a little bit more about the impotent narcissist. Now I did a video on this quite a while quite a while back. I'm going to actually drop that in the, the comments so you can refer to it. But I just want to say a little bit more about it because what I have actually discovered since making that video, which was months ago, probably maybe even a year, even a year ago. Um, but one of the things that I actually noticed is this is extremely common in narcissistic men. And for you guys who are watching the channel, obviously, yeah, I am talking about men because women can't be impotent. Okay, so there you go. It's just this is a, a male issue. But of course, it's an issue for the female too, who has to deal with it. All right. So um, also to get a few things out of the way, I know um, I can always tell who actually listens to the video and hears everything and people who hear one thing and then decide to make a comment. And it's ridiculous because I'm, I'm going to address it in the video. And that first one is this, that people would say, oh, Lisa, he probably wasn't really impotent. He was just impotent with you because he was cheating. No, 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 no. Okay. His impotence didn't start with me. It started with the girlfriend before me, prior. Okay. Um, this narcissist is close to 70 now, and this has been going on since he was like 50. Yeah. Okay. So way before I met him, he already had the problem. And also think about it in the love bombing stage. Do you not think that they're going to be trying to <laughs> you know, have sex. Okay. Um, also would like to mention I'm 13 years younger than the narcissist. Okay. So, um, there was no reason that there was nothing about me and believe me, I know it because you know why I've never had this problem with another man. I did. I, I was involved with a, a guy in the past who wasn't a full on narcissist, but has a lot of narcissistic traits. And while he was not actually impotent, he did have, he did suffer from some erectile dysfunction straight up. And I actually know exactly what his issue was, is this guy spent unbelievable amounts of time watching porn. Okay. So it, for you guys that are watching, it's not a good idea. And I'm not talking about a morality issue or your integrity or anything like that, but that's a fact. You don't want to believe me. You guys Google it. Watching a lot of porn um, for men and even maybe for women, um, it, that's not going to ever, a real person is not going to live up to that. You got to remember two dudes, those women are being paid to act like they are enjoying the activity and they're not. I know women who actually do porn. Okay. I, I do know women like that. And most of them are lesbians. They don't even like men. That's the truth. Okay. So <clears throat> people also ask, well, why'd you marry this guy if he was impotent? All right. So I may be a little bit different than most people in today's world in that I'm not getting physically involved with anyone right away no matter what. That's just me. I've been this way since at forever. Okay. So it's not going to really change now. So I actually had no idea. I did not know for quite a while. And then I didn't, since I'd never experienced it, I thought I can't say anything. It'll make it worse. But here was the wild part about it is trying not to make this like R rated video. Okay. But actually during the activities, he would be telling me all these things that he's going to do. And none of those came to fruition. He also loved doing that by text and all this stuff over the phone. And it was really sexy sounding. I'm not going to lie. I was always like, Ooh, okay. But nothing to back it up. And I mean, nothing. And we're also, I'm not talking about a guy that just had the impotent problem. There was also no libido. There was really no libido. And I cannot tell you how many people asked me if he was closeted. And this is both male and, and female. And I've actually wondered about that because he hates women. So I'm going to do a part two to this. Um, and let me know in the comments what you think. And then I'll do a little bit more on this.